5 News. And it is a rainy scene outside Bridgeport on top of Dan Cavas Buick GMC. If you wished for rain on Christmas, I'm glad you got exactly what you asked for because this has been the story for most of today. We did see some breaks in the rain earlier, but now that that front is moving through, that rain is heavy right now. Behind it, we'll have some scattered showers and then we'll be back to some cloudy skies for tomorrow. Right now, 58 degrees, sustained winds at 25 miles per hour from the west in Bridgeport. And those winds are gusting even higher. We did reach a high of 63 degrees in Clarksburg. Only two Christmases in the past 50 years that also reached above 60 degrees were in 1982 and 2019. So a very abnormally warm Christmas that we had this year, as well as that low temperature of 55 degrees this morning. Sunrise tomorrow going to be at 740 a.m. Satellite radar showing that front moving through right now. You can see that band of heavy rain moving through the area behind it. We're going to have some spotty showers, as I mentioned, but behind that, mostly going to be dry for tomorrow. But as we get towards Monday, going to be much rain rainier and that's going to be the trend for much of next week as well. Your current temperatures right now look like this. Most of us still in the 60s. Some of us starting to come down. Clarksburg now at 58 degrees. Parsons also at 58 as well as Mill Creek, but Sutton still at 65 degrees. Those wind speeds are going pretty high. We're seeing 10 to 15 miles per hour across the area, though Clarksburg is seeing those sustained winds of 25 miles per hour. Those wind gusts also pretty high, 20 to 30 miles per hour, though Clarksburg did record a gust of 48 miles per hour. That is the system of that front moving through going with those gusty winds. Once that front moves through, those winds are going to die down. You can see those uh, smaller blues up in that area as that front moves through those gusts are going to die down back to a normal calm wind level. Tomorrow morning we are going to see those temperatures very above average in the mid 40s and the high temperatures tomorrow not going to be as warm as today but still above average. Some of us reaching 50 degrees, others seeing the upper 40s. So let's take a look at that future cast. Once that uh, front moves through, just going to be seeing those clouds. We are going to see some breaks in those clouds as we get towards later on Sunday, but overnight into Monday those clouds do thicken up ahead of a low pressure system that's going to bring us some rain for Monday. That rain is going to continue as a second low pressure system kind of sustains that moisture, keeping those showers through as well as into Wednesday. Then we've got another system from the southwest keeping that moisture still throughout Thursday afternoon. Then for New Year's Eve, we have that high pressure moving in for some drier conditions to end the year. Throughout all this, all these temperatures going to be above average, so we're ending December the same way we started with those very above average temperatures.